Hello everyone. Welcome to a very dark and epic tutorial video. I will show you how to make a good thumbnail without photoshop because I'm broke as fuck. All you need for this tutorial is a computer and some knowledge and you're good to go. So without further ado let's begin. Ok so first open your favorite browser. Next type in this link, shown in the screen. We have arrived at Jim's. So now just hit that big fat juicy download button. It's pretty easy to download, so I'm not gonna go through it. So now that you have Jimp, first open up the program. Now go over to file and select new. Once you have done that set the size to 1280 by 720. Go over to advanced and set this to transparent. Leave the rest to default. And now you have a canvas. To move around hold down the scroll wheel and move your mouse. You can hold control and use the scroll wheel to zoom in or out. So for this tutorial, I will be using this background. And this picture of this thing. Chicken. After you have your images save them to your computer. Go over to Jimp. File and open them as layers. Find your image and open it. Before we continue, in the newest version of GIMP 2.10.20 you will probably see that a lot of the tools are gone. If you want to follow along this tutorial then in GIMP, go over to Edit, Preferences, and on the left click on Toolbox. Then uncross use tool groups. This will lay out all of your tools now back to the tutorial. First let's resize the image, click this icon here. Then enter the image dimensions, 1280 by 720. To center the image, click this alignment tool here. Make sure it is set to image. And now you have a background. Now we will be adding our chicken so go over to file and open. Find the image and open it. We want to only add the chicken, so we have to remove the background. Click on the free select tool. With this you can remove any object. Now go over the part of the image you want to remove. You can zoom in with control and mouse wheel to be more precise. Connect back to the original dot from where you started, now it is selected. On the top, go over to select and press invert. Now you will see a different selection. Press ctrl and x on your keyboard to delete all the selected background. As you can see there is a white background and that is because we did not add our alpha channel. Go over to the layer and right click and add our alpha channel. Now delete the background and you will see there is a transparent background which is what we want. Now that you have this picture use the move tool and go over to the layer and drag that into our other tab with the background picture. Use the scale tool to resize the image. Hold shift and drag the corners to evenly scale. 
I will use the rotate tool to put the image in the corner, click the tool, and then the image, drag the corners or use the slider to rotate. Now we will add some text to our image, click on the text tool, and choose any font to use. Drag the corners, and make sure all the text is visible. Make the boundary a little bit bigger than the text so nothing cuts off. Now we will add a gradient so go over to the text layer and right click and press alpha to selection. Click the gradient till and you can use any of this gradients you like. I will be using this. Click and drag up to make a gradient. You can also drag down. Once done click the move tool to set it and deselect. We will also add a boundary to this text, so I will do the same thing. Now go over to select and press grow. This will grow our selection. Make a new layer. And now with the new layer, selected fill with the color of your choice. I want the word epic behind thumbnail so I will put the text layer below thumbnail. I will add a final outline, so I'm making a new layer. I will use this blue-green gradient for this final text gradient. 
and then add the gradient. Now we have a nice outline. Now we will outline our thing. Chicken so go over and alpha to select grow the selection. Make sure you have the correct foreground color set and make a new layer. Select the new layer and fill it in. I will grow it again and then make another outline but this is not required. This time I will use this. Merge all the layers. Let's add the laser eyes. Here's one that I found. If you want to add something like this make sure that the background is transparent. Save the image and now open it as a layer. Use the rotate and scale tool and line it up next to the eye with the move tool. Right click on the laser eye layer and duplicate it. Move it to the other eye. To blur the background click on the background layer. Then filter and click Gaussian Blur. I will use these settings. Now to add a drop shadow. Click on the layer. And go over to Filter, Light and Shadow and to Drop Shadow. I will do the same for the text layer. We will also be adding a sunburst to make our text stand out more. You can search sunburst and find one. Once done download the image and open it as layer. Line it up behind your image. Select the sunburst and in modes. Set it to soft light. Lower the opacity. You can also use screen. Make any final adjustments. Once done go over to file and click on export as. Export the image and leave the settings all on default. We are finally done with our epic thumbnail. If you followed the steps you should get something like this.
all without using Photoshop. That is it for this tutorial, and until next time.